So first you're going to want to cook your rice. And I have enough because I'm trying to make enough where they can eat this tomorrow too, y'all. I'm telling you, two days max. You got to make these meals because I'm tired of cooking every day. But anyway, um, let this sit for about 15 minutes, 20 minutes. Then put it in the refrigerator. Let it sit for another 15 minutes because you don't want mushy rice once you start making it. So we have shrimp, sweet onions, and green onions. I already chopped these things up because you want to have those prepared before you start with frying the egg. So into the wok, we're going to add olive oil. The wok has been preheating and now we're ready to begin. I usually use white eggs, but my mother-in-law bought these brown eggs, so we're going to use those. So I'm just frying the eggs up and then I'll flip them over and then I'll start dicing them up in the wok. Some people take theirs out of the wok, set them aside, and then move on to the next process. I'm trying to save time, y'all. Don't worry, I will be draining some of this oil off of the eggs. I will not be using all if of it that. Was, uh, gas. Been better. Thank <laughs> you. 
green. That's for sure. and carrots are already cooked. Throw that back in there without hitting my thing. Smell a vision for that. Those sweet peas smell good. I might just cook that and eat that vegetables like that myself. Oh my god, with some shrimp. That's it. Healthy. Oh, you can just like get rice and just add chili sauce to it. Highly too much of a pan style for this. Hmm. Is it only just this one? Sweet peas not good. Huh? Was that like the only pan? What? At Walmart. This? Yeah. Or was it like more like that? No, they had, um, no, they were only this kind. And then I thought I found a skillet looking one, but it was actually just a skillet. I know how it is to cook in a wok because we had one. I hope it turned out good that way I can make it for your daddy. Well, at this point, I'll be making it for everybody. Please don't drop it. I'll push this over to the side. Over here? No, I'm pushing this over. This so you push the vegetables over so that you can get the rice into the pot, into the wok, that is. Oil. And start your uh, cooking and combining it together. So I had to turn the volume down on some of the stuff that we were talking about because my daughter, she just felt comfortable as we were cooking. And I would say to y'all, you know, the best time to have a conversation with your kids is in that kitchen cooking. So please prepare your rice before you start this, at least an hour or two before, um, because you, once it cooks, you want it to sit out and rest for at least 15 to 20 minutes. Then you put it into the refrigerator for another 15 to 20 minutes to let it get cool but not cold so it's you know in between warm and whatever that way you don't have mushy rice y'all mm -hmm. So now that I see I have enough room in this wok, I'm adding the rest of my onions, the rest of my green onions, and, oh, those are sweet onions, by the way, and I'm about to add some more oil. Uh, 
So I'm adding a pack of um, sweet peas and carrots, shrimp, and then the egg that we cooked earlier. We're going to combine all this together, stir it up, add a little more seasoning to it, and I'm going to add some more rice to it because, y'all, I was trying not to cook the following day. I'm so tired of cooking right now. I don't know, these kids, they, they think they're supposed to have breakfast, lunch, and dinner cooked, and they know good and well they didn't have breakfast, lunch, and dinner cooked when school was in. So because I added more rice and the other ingredients, I needed to add more of the soy sauce, white pepper, turmeric, um, sugar to the rice. So y'all, my daughter can really talk. She talked my head off doing this video and all I could do was try to be an ear for her. I didn't try to lead her conversation. So again, I'm about to add the turmeric to it because I added more rice to it and the turmeric gives it the color like I said before. And we're just gonna stir it up after we add the um, sugar to it. I probably added about maybe a half a cup of sugar to this rice and it calls for it. That's what the recipe calls for. I'm not just throwing that in there because it, but some people eat sugar with their rice. I don't know if y'all do. If you do add it, if you don't, then don't, you know, your choice. I promise you, you are going to get a huge workout with this um, recipe. You will be stirring and stirring and stirring. So right here, I'm just breaking up the clumps of rice. So if you see, you know, um, clumps of rice in yours, please break it up. Um, make sure you cover the rice with all of the ingredients because you want this to be a uniform meal. And you want it to look good as well as taste good. It looks good though. Once you get it in the pot, it don't take that long to do. But it's getting it in the pot. And this is a non-stick wok, but for some reason, you know, I needed to add a little more olive oil, a little more soy sauce, you know what I'm saying? And I had to put some sesame oil in it, y'all, towards the end because I forgot to put it in there. But you want to cover your rice. You want it to taste good. And I promise you, this was delicious. Yeah. But when you get your shrimp fried rice, you don't have the... Yes, you do. I like bean sprouts in my um, shrimp fried rice, but I couldn't find any anywhere in these stores. Y'all know how it is out here. But it did taste good without it. But I really love that crunch from the bean sprouts. Because we have like orange chicken since this is different. Because it looks like the one you put by. 